What is going on guys, Vuxer here. In today's video, we're going to be going over the best convertible vehicles. So let's get straight into it. For number 5, it's going to be the 2003 Chrysler FT Cruiser Convertible. Um, so, since it's a convertible, we're going to go over the details and stuff. So, this is a 4-seater. You can sit 4 of your friends. Ooh, wait. Never mind. You can sit... I want to say 5 of your friends. You can sit 5 of your friends in this FT Cruiser. Um, so that's good to know. Well, it's like a five-seater because the driver, too. Sitting position is great on this one. Horn. Turn signals. Lights. Alright, let's do a speed test. So, um, this one's not the best, but it's not the worst. This one's kind of on the ugly side, no offense. But it's a convertible, so it kind of looks kind of cool. And you know, green um, Greenville's with convertibles. This is like a first for a regular convertible other than the Shelby Cobra. Other than that, there was basically no convertibles in GV3. Top speed's 126 miles per hour, so um, not the fastest, but it's a mover, so yeah. But now, we're going to move on to number four. Number four is the 2006 Overland Buckaroo TJ. Um, yeah, that's the right name. So, let's do a seat count. Okay, it appears to be a four-seater with two people squishing in the back seat. And you can also sit in the middle, which is pretty nice. Um, leg room seems good and stuff, but it's Roblox, so it doesn't matter. Let's do a detail check. Um, you got the door handles, steering wheel, air conditioning, gauges, blah, blah, blah. It's not going to be high detail because that would cause lag. But overall, great detail in here. Once again, your sitting placement is, uh, is also pretty good. If your arms sticked out a little bit further, it would look more realistic. But turn signals lights Ooh, I like that four lights horn all right now the reason this is higher than the PT cruiser we all know this car for rolling and I find it kind of funny so yeah <laughs> that was easy but yes we all know this car for rolling easily so it's good for like car crash videos like say you want to turn in the farm you know almost flip there Basically, you can't hardly drive this thing without rolling. Like, I'm going to try to turn into six houses, and that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, you see it. Number three is the 2015 Belco 66. The reason that it's a 2015 is because this is a replica that was built in 2015. But other than that, the real version is a 1967 Shelby Cobra. Um, but this is a replica, so it has like 2015 stuff. Um, detail check, um, not bad. They kept it simplistic with this one. Um, I just wish the steering wheel had a little better detail. Even a Belco logo, attention to detail. Now this one's of course a two-seater, so um, yeah. But since it's like a 2015 concept, um, you have like four chimes and stuff. But seating placement is horrible. Your feet stick absolutely through the bottom. That's pretty bad. Um, but if you ignore that, then you're fine. Turn signals. Lights. Horn. Not bad. Now this one isn't bad since it's like a modern kind of classic car. 
This thing actually moves. Top speed's 144 miles per hour. Not bad for Shelby Cobra replica. So now we're gonna move on to number two. Next car is actually a 2021 WM Sergio convertible. The trim that I use is XR since it has multiple trims. Um, so this is a four seater. One, two, three, and four, which is the driver. Seating position is also um, okay. Your feet do stick out a lot, but I'm pretty sure R6 fixes most of the issues. Turn signals, I really like them. Lights. This thing also sounds pretty great. Yeah, not bad at all. Top speed's 164 miles per hour, so um, it's quite quick. To be on this list and it's also a four-door and it's a sporty coupe so overall you have a great combo with this car and you could look fast and go fast too so <laughs> yeah but now we're gonna move on to number one which you guys should already know all right since i forgot to go over the detail on number two this has some good detail to it so you got nice looking seats um, a shifter says Sergio other things another thing these gauges turn on when you get into it watch as you see they turned on you can't really zoom up close but you can see like gauges and stuff on the screen when you look get out it turns off and it has a rearview mirror so yeah but now back to number one number one of course is the 2005 Falcon Heritage this is based off a 2005 Ford GT Roadster and it has no roof. So you're basically getting a supercar with no roof, which is pretty insane. If you ask me, no cap. Now, um, interior review overall looks really great in here. Um, like a lot of detail was put into this one. Pretty sure that's a speaker too. Then you have the engine, you see the supercharger, you see the valve covers. And you, you got some good detail on this thing. And there's the exhaust too, so nice. Anyways, back to the roadster. Um as it, as you see it's a two-seater, one and two. Now this is the only supercar on this list, so it's just gonna dominate every other car on this list by speed. Sitting position is actually almost perfect. The feet only stick through a little bit on R16, but other than that, your sitting position is perfect. Yes, this thing is quite quick. Overall, it's one of my favorite supercars to really use in this game because it accelerates quick and the top speed's 222 miles per hour. So this car is not slow at all, and it's a supercar, and it's a convertible. So what more could you ask for, to be honest? And, yeah, it's like the car doesn't have ABS either. Um, anyway. But, yeah. This is also pretty good at doing donuts. I won't have smoke since uh, my graphics level. Yeah, this thing's pretty good at doing donuts. And you could do really fast ones with this car. Not bad. But yeah, if you enjoyed today's video about the best convertibles in Greenville, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, this has been Vuxery, and I am out.